Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are going to start one of my all-time favorite games, and just generally one of my favorite franchises of the 2000s, which is Mass Effect, and more specifically Mass Effect 1, for the Xbox 360, and like what I did for Modern Warfare 1 and 2 before 3 came out, and Pokemon Gold before Heart Gold came out, and one other instance, I can't remember. Oh yeah, Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion before Metroid Prime 3 came out. I am going to be playing through the first two Mass Effects, um, both for Xbox 360, with data carryover, so my story from Mass Effect 1 will affect my story in Mass Effect 2, and then when Mass Effect 3 comes out, I'll import that story into Mass Effect 3, because in case you don't know, that's what the major theme of Mass Effect is, the major plot grabber, is that in actuality, the choices that you make in every game have impacts not only later on in that game, but also in the next game. So for example, you're going to see there's going to be some stuff I do in Mass Effect 1 where I have choices about what I can do and what, uh, what uh, choices I can make that are going to actually impact what happens in Mass Effect 2, maybe either very subtly, maybe have a very major effect. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but as you can see, that's the major thing about Mass Effect. Not only is it replayable because you want to see different outcomes and different everything, but also the choices that you make. So here we are at Mass Effect 1. You have your start screen, which is a picture of Earth, I believe, or of one of the other planets. It could be anything. Now, there's been a lot of debating over which Mass Effect has done some things better but I think that this Mass Effect kind of does everything Mass Effect 2 does and beyond so in order to start a new game with my character we have to start a new career Welcome and you're actually gonna see what they do here it's pretty cool Classified information. oh WikiLeaks activate Establishing secure now if this is your first time playing the game secure then this screen will actually fail and then you have to, you know, enter a new ID or pick a John Shepard. But because I already have an existing crew data, I can just select it. And what's awkward is that my level 57 character is above my two level 60 playthroughs. So I'm going to pick the one... I'm going to pick the one that has more playtime. Actually, I have three. <laughs> Oh yeah, this, this is when I was doing it on Hardcore and Insanity, but I'm going to pick this one, which is my maxed out most recent one. Not like either any of them matter, it's just, you know, preference. Now, I have had multiple playthroughs and different characters, but I this is the one that I really like the most. So you'll see, they're, they're going to talk about my backstory and whatnot, which you can pick yourself. Parents were killed when slavers attacked Midwar. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Oh yeah, he camped in a corner like a pussy. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? No, fuck that. Where's General Picard? He's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Captain Kirk, where the fuck you at? In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space frame civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts reveal startling new technologies, enabling traveling to the first stars. The base of resistance, incredible geology, was the force of control the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The citizens of the galaxy called it. Bum, bum, bum! Mass Effect! Do, 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 do. As you can see, we're flying past Jupiter like it's nothing. Assuming NASA every, uh, ever started back up again, this is what it would look like. Oh, look, we're passing Neptune. We already passed your mom's anus. Fuck out my way. Actually, that guy is very important to the story. You'll see in Mass Effect 2, he's so essential. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. <laughs> there he is. Get the fuck out of my way, Generico. 
Stand next to this asshole. Yeah, baby! It's Spray Shepard. And that's a mass relay. That's how they slingshot around the galaxy. Oh shit, we might not make it. We might rip apart. And flung. Woo! Love it. I love that intro. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Family Guy reruns, check. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. <laughs> He's essential too. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Yes. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes that. <laughs> so now as you see, I have different dialogue choices I could do. So I'm going to do the overreacting. You always expect <laughs> well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason. So what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Captain, we're about to hit an asteroid. Relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. Huh. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Huh. You made him mad. <laughs> Great. You pissed the Captain off and... <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. Alright, let's go. Actually, wait a second. I forget. In this game... No, in this game, when you start a new game plus, all your stats, actually, they remain the same. So, like, I could never change these stats about Shepard. It's not the same for my teammates, though. So, and I actually think some stuff around here... Nope, you can't interact with it. <laughs> Talk to this guy. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing, asshole. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Jedi! Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Really? They're actually... Spectres are exactly like Jedi. They're employed by the Council of the Galaxy, and they get, like, super cool stuff. So really, and it's actually Bioware made Knights of the Old Republic, so... Hmm, I wonder if we see any similarities there. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. Blind Eye! The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Hey, you're wrong, asshole. A full crew makes sense. We need the extra hands in case anything goes wrong. And the Spectre is just here as an observer. Disagree. Well, maybe you're right, Commander, but I just can't shake this feeling that we're out here on false pretenses. The Captain. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could What the fuck? Do they just give him away for charity now? You don't send a soldier like that on a do nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. And the Turian inspector. And a Turian is a different race in case you don't know. It's there's multiple races in the galaxy in this world universe. 
You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain. Do whatever the fuck they want. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. <laughs> he's packing heat. All right, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Nice. So you can gain experience from all this stuff, but I'm already max level, so it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, it's the Locust Queen. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Relax. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on. A good soldier attaches chainsaws to his guns. All right, you investigate. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't feel like talking to these guys. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can There's do. There's no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> Goodbye, come on. Yeah, so Dr. Chakwas, the person who plays her, is actually the Locust Queen from Gears of War, in case you don't know. Voiced by the same person. So, okay, let's talk to Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. It's beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. It's like a visual paradise. orgasm. Paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Hey, my broken controller's automatically taking me to the good response. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown. <laughs> That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's and there goes the awesome music. Operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. Well, this comes down from the top. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protheans. Protheans are an ancient race, long extinct. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Oh, yeah. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests. Can't Remember, keep it for ourselves. Discovery could affect every species in Council space. Glad you're here to help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Should have known. Why I bump into him every time I turn around. That's why we were pissing next to each other in the urinals. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? How dare you? Why would a Turian want to slap that shit? Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. 
We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. And you support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this. Like hell it is, Shepard! We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You will be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Shit. My soda's about to overfizz. Alright, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. It's the newest Justin Bieber concert. Put it on. Ready? This is gonna be great. Oh, shit. Never mind. It's Call of Duty Future Warfare. Get down. Get down. It was made by Treyarch. Don't look at it. It'll melt your eyes off. Ah. Oh. What? Am I the only one that likes Black Ops here? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. Boom! <laughs> they came out of nowhere. We need Oh, yeah. What? What's everyone looking at? Oh shit, it's a giant flying squid. Well, that sounds like it went well. Uh, did someone say it's a trap? <laughs> you saw his gills move? It's pretty funny. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Tell them to bring the marinara sauce and the special dip. We're gonna have calamari. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Yeah, hopefully it was you us. Some muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dick site. Oh shit! Oh shit! What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The oh yeah. Your top priority. I love opening soda bottles. Nihilus, you coming with us? Fuck no. I move faster on my own. Oh, he uses a shotgun? I never knew that. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, you can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Wow, those are some fast drop-offs. Alright. Talking about those things. Oh, actually, hold on a second. I need to do this. As you can see, all your teammates, when you start a new game plus, they lose all their bonus abilities. So, max out his Sentinel. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to use Caden all the time. He's like the best guy in the game. He's just so good. Why would I not use him? As you can see, I'm buffing up all his special biotic abilities because biotics are basically the um, the casters of the of the Mass Effect universe. Where does it get overload? Overload? Give me that. Neural shock. Give him that. And we're done. And now it's time to buff up Richard L. Jenkins, because he's so very important. I'm not even lying. This guy is the most essential character in the game. And without him, I could have never beaten this game on Insanity. So I'm definitely going to take the time to buff him up. You know, give him all the good stuff. 
But Max out is just, he's not really good with snipers, you know. Um, he can use them, but he's not that good. So give him shield boost so he can replenish his shields. Equip heavy armor, advanced shield boost. Uh, he doesn't really need master shield boost. Obviously, you're going to want to master out his soldier. Give him basic first aid. Unlock fitness. And you're going to want to max out fitness, because the more you max it out, the bigger his damage. I mean, bigger his health bar. Give him adrenaline burst. Ah, oh, fuck, I accidentally put one in sniper rifles. As you can see, I still have quite a few points left over, so I'm going to put the rest in pistoles. And now I have two points left over. Put him in first aid, because he's going to need it. And as for me, I'm just God, so it doesn't matter what I do. So, let's keep going. Press and hold the left bumper to switch weapons for your squad. This pauses the game. That's right, in this game, whenever you want to switch weapons, or as you can see on this wheel, use abilities, it pauses the game so you can tactically choose what you want to do, or at least that's what they say. So, as you can see, we already have a really fucked up body on the floor. It's always a good sign. All right, everyone hold up. We got to go low and quiet. Low and quiet. All right, everything looks fine. All right, Jenkins, check it out. I see watch. He's going to just completely destroy all the enemies that are about to surprise us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo, I love Jenkins, yo. He's so funny. As you can see, you get a shit ton of money. So, well, the best ability in the game is immunity. It basically doesn't protect your shield, but it protects your health bar. So now I watch this. If I step out into open fire, I'm gonna take no. I'm gonna lose my shields, but I'm gonna take no damage whatsoever on my health bar because of how high it is or how strong it gets. So Jenkins is dead. Oh well. Rip right through his shields. You're at a chance. He deserves a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Huh. <laughs> Very essential to the story. That's actually a, a reoccurring Bioware gag. That at the start of every game, there's always someone who's supposedly on your team, but then they die. It's a gag. So, or so at least I've heard. Oh shit, rockets still hurt. No! The gas bag! No! No, I accidentally shot it. Yeah, fuck you. Come on. Oh. Uh. So got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. And you can actually lower the cooldown on immunity so much that before it's even done, uh, like protecting your health bar, it's already able to be used again. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Same thing for marksman, kind of. Now, if you want to know how I'm able to go right through their shields, it's actually not that hard. It's, um, it's an attachment you can put on your weapons. Here, and I'll show you in a second once I'm out of combat. Because I actually need to check something else. So if you go to equipment, as you can see here, I have complete Spectre gear. So I only use pistols, really, because they're the best weapon. But now if you go down to upgrades... And scroll over to the ammo. Proton rounds. Instead of projectiles, upgraded weapons release energized protons capable of bypassing kinetic barrier shields. However, actual damage inflicted is typically less. So at the cost of 20% damage, you can go right through their shields. Uh, you can deal half damage to both their shields and their health. So instead of dealing 100% damage to shields, you can slip underneath their shields and deal half damage. So I think that's very important. It's very essential. Wait, what are the other upgrades I have on it? More damage. So I get my damage right back. So never mind. I don't lose any damage. I keep full damage because I have Scram Rail on. I have Scram Rail rank 10. Oh, I'm going to put that on. All right. So it was completely worth checking this out. 
Kinetic Coil gives me more damage and more weapon stability. Do I have anything else? Frictionless Materials give rounds more power while minimizing weapon overheating. My gun doesn't overheat. Increases max accuracy. As you can see, this is pretty annoying scrolling through all this because there's no fast way to like get rid of them all. So I kind of just end up leaving them. So yeah, it's it's not worth changing any of them. So now I have to scroll back up. Actually, do I have kinetic something rank 10? Yeah, I do. So I'll put that on. Now the only thing else I'll check is proton rounds. Because that's the only thing I put on any of my guns. Because all these other rounds, they make your guns overheat way too fast. And there's no point. And proton rounds are actually extremely rare. And you're like, oh, what is this idiot talking about? You should put some of those uh, incendiary rounds on. Yeah, okay, buddy, sure. Have fun on insanity. Whatever you say. Oh, look, a, medic a medical kit. I've never seen this before. How do I use medics, uh, meds again? Where am I going? This way? Oh, run! Get to the chopper! No! Ooh, took a pretty bad hit there. And she goes in the last stand and completely destroys them. Lovely. Oh, it's okay, baby. Relax. We're here to help. We're, we're just the generic robots. Don't worry. Oh! Penetrator. Penetrator! Yes. She's next. Ha <laughs> ha. Mass Effect the porno. <laughs> Alright, we gotta help her. Where the fuck am I? We're right through that shit. Put up a shitty little barricade. I like how she knows I'm a commander. Alright. Talk to her. Are you okay? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your Bring squad? up some bad memories. We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Oh, good. I think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them. You should have died the there. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The bacon? No, us, the bacon's all mine. Guys. It might still be there. Join us. Come to the dark side. Help, aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Let's go. Move out. So she joins your party. To replace Jenkins, and actually they're both soldiers, and now if you're not familiar with the Mass Effect class system, I really don't feel like explaining it. Alright, I've reached the item limit, so I have to reduce everything to Omnigel. I don't really feel like explaining it, just, just go look it up, but all you need to know is that they're both soldiers, they both specialize in heavy damage. So now I have to re-equip her, because she's actually the best character in the game although some people can say otherwise I think she's really good so I'm definitely gonna want to upgrade her fitness her immunity cuz on hardcore and uh, not hardcore yeah well hardcore and um what's the other difficulty called I don't even fucking remember insanity the this her and a character later on you need them they're so vital that you without a doubt need them to do anything all right so now i kind of have a choice here and never let auto level up do your leveling up it's stupid it doesn't it's awesome how bad it is so you can give her carnage you know you can make her basically an all-purpose kind of character because that's really what soldiers are i'm going to put some points into first aid where should i put the last couple of points assault training Alright, there we go. 
And now, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change her equipment. Yes, I was just here at the equipment screen. Whoops, I switched over to K. 